Hello pickle people, my name is Timmy and sometimes I burn things when I cook and you probably do as well. Today I want to share three different pickle recipes using three base ingredients for the pickle juice using a 1 to 3 ratio of ingredients. Pickles are fun, tasty and easy to do at home and today we're picking cucumbers, carrots and red onions. You can use pretty much any cucumber for this, but our recommendation is to get some with as few seeds as possible in order to maximize the crunchiness of your final product. For this recipe I'll use about 2 pounds of cucumber. You want to start by washing the cucumbers thoroughly before cutting them up into slices. You can choose your own thickness yourself. Don't go too thin though, as you might miss out on some of that sweet crunchiness. Once you have sliced up all the cucumbers, you want to add the slices to a strainer and add about one fourth of a cup of salt, maybe even a little less. Toss the cucumbers and make sure the salt is evenly distributed among the slices. Let it sit for about 30 minutes in the kitchen sink or over a bowl. The salt will start to draw out moisture from the cucumbers and the slices will also start to take on some of the salt taste. When it comes to carrots, make sure you rinse off any dirt from the carrots and you also might want to peel some of the outer layer. There are several ways you can slice carrots. You can take a potato peeler and peel off long strips. You can dice them into smaller pieces. You can also make long thin bars or you can just keep them whole. For this recipe I'm going to chop them up into thicker slices. And for the red onions you take a couple of good sized onions. Three medium sized ones should easily fit in a jar. Cut off the bottom end and make sure you get rid of any ugly or damaged areas on the onion as well. Cut the onion right down the middle and slice them right across so you get these long strips. Then put it aside. After letting 30 minutes pass, start rinsing the cucumber slices under cold water and wash away all the salt. Make sure you do this for a few minutes in order to really make sure you get all that salt off the cucumbers. Don't underestimate how long you have to do this for. Now for the pickle juice. I mentioned earlier that I was going to use a 1 to 3 ratio for this recipe. In a medium sized pot, add 1 cup of vinegar, 2 cups of sugar and 3 cups of water for each jar. Since I will be using 3 jars today, I will triple the amount of ingredients. The vinegar used in this recipe is at 12%. Stir it until the sugar is dissolved and bring the mix up to a boil. If you want to, you can also add some herbs and spices into the water as well. However, I want to keep these separated because I want to evenly distribute them in each jar. While you wait for the water to boil, prepare any sort of herbs and spices you want in your jars. I'm going to wash up some dill and chop up a chili fruit that I had left in the fridge. I also want two cloves of garlic in each jar. To peel the garlic, just place the knife on top of a clove and give it a quick smash with your fist. This will make the shell come loose and you can easily peel it off. Then it's time to prepare the jars and I'm going to start by adding the garlic at the bottom of each jar. Then for two of the jars I'm going to add some of the chili but not all of it. Followed by the mustard seeds and then some pink peppercorns. You can use any type of pepper or spice you like. I'm also going to add some of that dill into each jar. The goal here is to build layers in between the vegetables. Start stuffing the vegetables to about one third of the way in each jar. Then add some more herbs and spices on top of the vegetables before adding in more. Don't be afraid to press down on the vegetables to make them fit. Try to get rid of unnecessary air pockets, especially for the onions, as they are more flexible than, say, carrots. Top off all of the jars with the last of the spices and herbs. Take the boiling pickle juice off the stove and pour it directly into the jars. If you want to make sure the jars don't crack, you can warm them up in a warm water bath before pouring the hot liquid into them. But since there's plenty of vegetables taking up most of the space, we shouldn't have to worry too much. Yeah. Right. 
And there you have it. Three types of pickles using a very simple 1 to 3 ratio for the pickle juice. Let these cool down on the counter for a few hours before storing them in your refrigerator. Wait for at least one day before starting to consume them. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more cooking, baking and crafting videos in the future, please like or hey, even subscribe. Take care everyone, see you next time.